come back to that in a moment. Tilke and Govenda looking to see whether they can go over. We'll have a spin across all of them, pausing on four of the quicker CD So, runners. 16 men on the start line for the men's 3,000 metres. The number indicating that he is There's the, the defending champion. On the outside is the Nick defending Riggs. champion for Ireland. Uh, Nick Nick European leader. At the time Pedro of 7.53.24 that he ran and in Belfast. 14, where another sub eight Back minute runner is representing Poland. Oh, the other that's man that's who's Nicolina. under Camille eight Hersey. minutes this year. Emmanuel Jorzo Camille scores Hersey of Greece. Of Poland. Of Spain. I was impressed with the man alongside him. Sweden, Skouros of Greece, who did well and when winning his heat. Of course, these men Morotti. Jonathan already Grant had one run to get through nine. to the final. At eight Three Britons, including Edward Bird. Year, representing Great Britain. Ed Bird. Alongside him at seven, he's got a lifetime best of 8.01 for Norway. Hakan Moeberg. And Moeberg. Then it's Bradley Giblin of Great Britain. Mattis Liebins of Belgium. So and four, second Daffy of the three Jones Grins, of Bradley Britain. Giblin. At three, Andreas Fjeld Halverson of Norway. Drawn two, Juan Gidelan of Netherlands. And, and on Daffy the inside Jones, of the France, the Welshman, Yalawi. Getting presented the to the crowd. One of them will be our champion Andreas at 3,000 metres. Fjeld Halverson. Not a very Dreamen. impressive runner. Kumar. Good to on the inside, Juan Zudelan of two. Oh, you Runners in this field, there's only one, and Suleiman Lowy of France completing the lineup. A couple of men we didn't mention, the two Spaniards as well Alex Vives and Pedro Vasquez. All off now. Tall Swede and Gran in there as well. Gran could very well be one of the men to look out for. He's very quick over 1500 meters. It's a 337 man. He's third on the European under 20 list. He's concentrating on this particular event. The pace is a little bit on the slowish side, which it does at this stage appear to be. It's almost pedestrian. They're almost race walking their way around the track at this early stage in the race. It could well play to Grant's strengths, Jonathan Grant. 13.52 men over 5,000 metres as well. A couple of athletes making a move there, off Falk of Sweden, and that led Jones of Britain to push on as well. They're all kind of looking round and wondering who's going to take this one on and when they're going to do it. Well, even by tactical championship racing, this is pretty pedestrian, isn't it? Well, they are certainly taking their time. They take... <laughs> And even the crowd are sounding just a little bit disgruntled, I think. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's these men who are battling for the medals. You can't ask the crowd to do, run their race for them and every time provide a crowd pleaser. So, taking more than two minutes to go through the first 600 metres. Well, we've got time to go back to the pole vault. Well, this is really exciting now. Teal key trying to improve on his personal best overall through this competition by 18 centimetres. Helps when we go up in increments of 10, of course. So this would be massive for the Turk. Can't manage another third time in a very clearance. So just waiting to see on uh, Govenda, the European under 18 champion then. Tilki cleared first time at 5.30 for that Turkish under-20 record. Three failures now at 5.40. 
So it looks to me like he is sealed now in the bronze position. And hence some celebrations and some frustration as well. Ultimately, he's improved significantly on his ranking of 12th coming into the competition. Im Sanders, Switzerland. Now the battle over gold. Third time at 5.50. And brings the bar down. So frustration for him. He had a perfect scorecard coming up to 5.40. But he has one attempt left. Well, they're trudging their way around this 3,000 meters. Went through 1,000 meters in 3.21. 95 so that equates to outside 10 minute pace goes without saying it's going to quicken up just a question of when still edward bird at the front as he's been through the mo most part as far as the first three and a half laps have been Jordan halverson also stuck to his task and stayed very close to the rail on the inside everybody's still very much bunched up at the moment well obviously the championship record which is been held since 1981 by east germany's reiner wackenbrunner is not going to get challenged somewhat curious this event it was on the schedule for the first eight editions right the way through to 1985 then came off it and was reintroduced back in 2019 and of course as we say Nick Griggs in there in the green vest of Ireland, the defending champion and the European leader. Well, it does look as though the pace has just increased just very slightly. So instead of them being all bunched up together, it's now more like two or three abreast. There's still all 16 men very clearly into this race as they come round to see three laps to go. Still Edward Bird. Bird took the bronze on this very track in july last year at the european under 18 championships now contesting the medals at european under 20 level Bjorn halverson won silver medals both at 1500 meters and 3000 meters last year so Bjorn halverson and edward bird know each other very well just wondering whether they're chatting. It did look as though Halverson exchanged a couple of words, and they were fairly friendly words from what I could see. Well, I think everybody's going to be thanking Edward Birds for at least keeping things rolling along at the front, otherwise, they'd be walking the way around. Well, I guess we're finding something out about the characters of these athletes. I'm sure we'll do that over the next lap or two. You mentioned some of the 1500 times Kamil Hertzik just moving onto the shoulder now. And the white and red of Poland, 3.44.63 in Lublin last month. Big, big improver over 3,000 to 7.59. Obviously, some of the PBs over this distance aren't representative because it's not as regularly run. 3,000 and 5,000 at the under 20s, moving up to 5,000 and uh, 10K at the under 23s but Hertzig just maybe he's going to be the one to make a move obviously Nick Riggs has improved on his times right from 800 to 5000 this year 336 his new personal best and he's one of the more experienced athletes in this now as the defending champion so I wonder what that will mean for him maybe on a little bit of pressure he will not want to come away without any kind of medal but there's always the risk that that can happen with so many still in this battle yes and also notably Vasquez coming around the outside uh, he came from a long way back he was at the back of the pack Vasquez now just behind Briggs as well so 500 meters to go this is almost going to be the bell sounding like a gun because it's going to be just a burn up over the last 400 meters so Brown has worked his way into a good position but oh this ballers that's the Norwegian and the Dutchman as well, Sunderland has gone to the floor. But it's Gran at the front, Herzog and Griggs, they're probably the three favourites on paper. Now Griggs with 
250 meters to go. Starting to ramp up the speed. Gran on his inside. Gran a 337 man, but Griggs, he's gritting his teeth and he's pulling away. He's not meant to let his title go without a fight. Gran though, straying with him, still on his shoulder behind him. It looks as though it's one of the Britons. Bradley Gibbon, with Giblin coming through at the bronze. Oh, but Gran, Gran <laughs> easing up. The legs have gone from Nick Briggs, and Gran just eased his way around the Irishman. Gold goes to Sweden in the shape of Jonathan Gran. Nick Briggs can't defend his title and has to settle for silver on this occasion. And Bradley Giblin comes through ahead of the rest, easing his way over the final 200 meters to pull away for bronze run a 44 67 well the time forget about the time it was just really an 800 meter race with it, them speeding up with two laps to go and then it getting very fast over the final 400 meters jonathan Graham, nick griggs well, the Ulsterman has to settle for silver medal on this occasion. And I did sense a little bit of disappointment on the face of Griggs as he crossed the line. Just ran out of steam with about 50 meters to go. But he does get Ivan's first medal of these championships. Bradley Giblin. Well, Giblin, an 8.20 man at best this year. 8.17, a huge surprise. Giblin taking the bronze. You wouldn't have bet on him. But he just timed his surge to perfection. And he wasn't particularly tested over the first two kilometers or so, so had plenty in the tank. Yeah, you can sense by just looking at Nicholas Griggs' face. That wasn't the outcome he wanted or expected. Jonathan Grant, though, smiles and delight. He chose his event and stayed away from the likes of Nils Laros over 1500 meters and 5000 meters and it was a gamble that paid off for the swede yes and i felt like there was something big coming from grant because his outdoor personal best was half a minute slower than what he'd run indoors so it didn't feel like uh, the 824 outdoor personal best was fully representative in the end was it about time was it we look at those fallers well you know people look at this and say that was possibly bound to happen given the way it was going so so pedestrian even that word feels like not sharp enough Grant celebrating early he could see the closing speed of himself relative to Nick Griggs who of course was part of a phenomenal championships two years ago for Ireland and not many athletes come away with European under 20 medals from more than one championships so that in itself is impressive but Grant makes it a really good condition